Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I absolutely love nail polish as a form of embellishment. And uh, I don't wear nail polish because I've got hands that look like they, well, they are working girls' hands, and um, I don't wear nail polish because I don't want to attract any further attention to the state of them because they do look like they need to have all sorts of things done to them but I just never ever have time for that and I see it as a big fat waste of time. Go to the nail technician, get your nails looking beautiful and then by chance there might be something in the garden that needs to be sorted or I might need to do a paint finish. But nail polish can be used for all sorts of things and today what I want to show you is how to take a plain cup and embellish it or marble it to suit your decor or a themed party. You can do it on glasses, you can do it on mugs, you can do it on all on vases, all sorts of surfaces. I wouldn't do it onto plates and when you, uh, d my indicator to let me know that something is not safe is usually by the smell and I think that there might be toxic things in this and in saying that I am working on a product with a company to try and get a nail polish that's sort of got minimal, minimal harsh chemicals in it but that'll have to wait for another day and we're probably about three to four months away from getting the formulation done. But I really love that you can customise cups or especially mugs anyway to be part of your theme and here at Asus Place I love black and white because it doesn't interfere with anything else that I put in it and I always have the odd little bit of blue on a wall so that when I look outside I can see there's it just looks like the sky continues on really really easy easy product process what you do need is something that you don't really need I'm just going to use this foil container and I'm just hoping that there's no get no harsh nasties come off it. But anyway, you need some water to make a water bath. And the bigger the surface that you're going to be working in, the better it's going to be. And um, the other thing I need to say before I go too far is, when you're doing this technique, I wouldn't take it up to anywhere near the lip or the rim of your cup, because as I said, it's got harsh nasties in it and the smell tells me it is, so just be careful with how you go. Right, the bigger the surface, the better it is going to be. Into here, um, Oh, hold on, I'll just shake my nail polish off up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pour that into there like so. And then put, put the lid on as you go. See how it's just all starting to float on the water? I don't know, some of the nail polish works really well and some doesn't, but you know how it is. Oops, do that. And I'm going to use the black and the white. You can use as many colours you, as you like. I've tried it with the glitter, but oh, I'm not that fussed on glitter. I don't like anything that's too sort of like gritty near my hands. Okay, put the blue into there like so. The amount that you put in will determine how much of the marble effect that you get. And see how that's starting to, dis to disperse into there. Get your cup, make sure that this is absolutely pristine clean and doesn't have any oil or grease on it. And then it's just a matter of getting in here with a swivel like so. And then dipping your cup into the marble into the water bath like so to create the pattern that you want. Hold on, I just want to do another bit over this side. No, I don't, I'm gonna muck it up. Um, one dip is probably the best dip. So once you get to there, it's just a matter of putting that down and just leaving it. So as I said, I can't, you can't guarantee marble's marble, but how easy is that? Leave it to dry. I left mine for 24 hours, which is what I do with everything. And uh, once you're sick of it, you can just get the nail polish remover and take it off. But what a beautiful way, a beautiful gift. And the reason I'm doing these is because I'm waiting for some 
blue tweedia to flower in my garden because I've got a friend's wedding coming up and she just wants blue tweedia and it's an afternoon wedding and what we're going to do is we're going to have all of these cups with just the blue tweedy in the top to run along the surface of your table. So I'm in preparation now. I hope you like that and I hope that you can apply this to a design technique at your place. And before I go, I've just got to tell you that to get rid of any of the surplus nail polish that's floating around, what I did was I just got a satay tick stick and just like whizzled around here to pick up all of those particles and then that can go into the bin and then with the water because it will still have a few harsh little chemicals into there don't put it down the drain or the sink put it somewhere where you want to kill a weed or something because it will have toxic yucky nasties in it and we don't want that going into the into the landfill or down the sink that might sort of go out to the sea or somewhere so do be very careful and treat it just as you would as if you were getting rid of surplus to requirement paint there you have it thanks for watching and i will see you another day mm -hmm.